Good morning. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Trisha Claiborne and I am doing a YouTube video series right now and it is titled Dear Future Husband and I am doing 21 days and I want to say I'm on day 17 right now but I have been wrong before so check the description <laughs> um, and also you can uh, check the description for any other pertinent information that you might be interested in that I might talk about that um, I could connect you with so um, don't forget to comment like subscribe turn on those little notifications so that you can find out uh, when I post something and that way um, you can follow along with my hashtag dear future husband challenge also I want to hear from you what are the um, things that you have been thinking about as you've been watching this video series um, when it comes to yourself and a future potential partner spouse um, or just anything in general in your life that you are going to use this um, process, this thought process, this mindset to attract into your life. And so please feel free to comment in the um, comment section below so that I can check you out and I can support you. All right. So the whole reason I started this and I guess they're, you know, just so that you know, if you've been following all the days from day one, so there's a playlist if you want to go back and watch the other videos before this. Um, if you've been following along, then you know that this is not my quest or my search for a future husband. That is not what this is at all. This is about aligning myself with the kind of person that someday I would want to be with. And what I mean by that isn't isn't um, by pretending to be something I'm not. That's not what I mean. Um, what I mean is to think about all the qualities and all the things that I am hoping and praying for that I require, that I want, and that I need in a potential partner. a Someone who I'm going to be with. Someone who's going to be a huge part of my life, who's going to share my life, who's going to share my children's lives, you know, and I could also have that same impact if they have children. And so it's very important to think about who you need to be as a person to, att to attract that kind of person. So the thing is, is that good people attract good people all the time, but sometimes those good people have things that they haven't dealt with. They've had baggage that they haven't dealt with. And so when you bring those two people together, they are toxic for each other and they are good people, but they are not good together. And unless they're willing to look at themselves first and make some changes then they're going to continue to be toxic. And the thing is, is you can't change someone else. So you can't go into a relationship thinking that you're going to change someone else. No, you can't overlook a bunch of flaws, a bunch of warning signs, red flags, if you will. Um, if you see red flags in a relationship, that's not the relationship for you. You know, you, and I would, I would caution you to take your time in getting to know someone. Take your time in getting to know yourself first, though. So, it is better for you to be single and date yourself and figure out who you are as a person. Handle your stuff. Deal with your baggage. And love who you are as a person, like, to the core and, and be a happy person. And, and what I mean by that is you don't feel like you have to have someone in your life to be happy. You could be happy if you never met someone else. But you know, someday, if someone comes into your life and compliments your life in a way that makes it even better, then that's how you know. But you're already living the life that you want to have. 
So these are important things to think about. The whole reason I did this, and even though I titled it Dear Future Husband, and even though that's that's what I'm going through as far as the mind the the mindset, the techniques that I'm using, this is just an example of manifesting and and using the law of attraction. Um you can use this technique in any aspect of your life, but what it all is going to boil down to, it all comes back to you as a person and how you think and how you talk to yourself and how you feel about yourself. So whether it's this or a job or, or, or whatever, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that you have to work on you. And that was what I was hoping to inspire with these videos is, is a desire for you to work on you. That's really what it's meant, meant for and meant to be. Um, and for me to work on me because I'm daily working on myself because I have so far still to go to become the person that I truly want to be. I have come a long way and I give myself credit for that. And each day it's a struggle. <laughs> it is. I'm, I'm not saying I'm perfect and I'm not saying that this, this is going to be an easy thing. I'm just saying it's possible and you have to start somewhere. But the somewhere you have to start is with the person staring you in the face in the mirror. That is where it starts. And I hope that you understand that I say this with so much love and so much admiration for you that you would even consider taking this step and looking at yourself and making a change within yourself because even the best people can be better. When we stop trying to learn and grow and improve ourselves as a person, like we have no purpose here in this world. You know, if you look at some of the greatest people of all time, they were some of the most humble people and they never stopped trying to be a better person or a quest on their quest to be a better person. All that they've been created to be. We were not created to be mediocre people. We were not created to be sad. Yes, we were created to have feelings and emotions and to go through those and those things help us grow and evolve as a person but we're not meant to stay in those places we're meant to stay in a place of happiness and peace and joy that is where we are meant to stay so with that being said i'm going to start my dear future husband dear future husband I am so thankful and so grateful that you and I are so in sync when it comes to self-improvement and personal development and spiritual development. I am so happy and grateful that you are, you are just as dedicated to making yourself the best person that you can be as I am. And as a couple, we we grow in that way. Not only do we work on ourselves individually, privately, um, but we work together on our marriage and knowing that we've got to put time and, and love and effort into maintaining a healthy relationship. It's not going to just maintain itself. It's just like a yard, you know, you know that we have to tend to it. And I am so happy and grateful that you have the open mind and the mindset to say, hey, there's a couple's retreat or a couple seminar, you know, on how to have a better marriage, how to spice up your marriage, how to be a better spouse. And you are always eager to go to those things and, and as a couple, or even if I can't go to go by yourself or encourage me to go because this is something that is that important that you are willing to invest time and effort into learning and, and understanding so that you can understand me as your partner and yourself as you 
and the impact that we have on each other's lives. And I am so grateful for that open mind in you and that desire to be your best self, not just for yourself, but for me and our family as well. And so thank you for that. All right. Well, thank you for watching. And yes, this video got a little long. I've got to get on track with keeping them shorter, but I had a lot more to say today. So I just kind of went with it. Um, anyway, don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that you can receive the updates whenever I upload a new video. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a great one. Awesome. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. No, I'm watching you.